Hello you, welcome back to Geekism. Today, forever will be known as Planko Cheat Day. Out of nowhere, Frontier have announced that there are 10 official cheat codes built into Planet Coaster. They've been there since 1.2 launched a couple of weeks ago. I assume they gave us some time to figure them out for ourselves. I don't think anyone did. I didn't see anything on social media. But today, they've come out and released all 10 of them for our gaming enjoyment. They announced them through various different sources, some news sites, some social media, live streams, and a few other uh, popular YouTube channels, uh, but I thought I'd do a quick video showing all 10 and what they can do in the game. First up, we have Frontier, the company itself. If you can change any ride name to Frontier, it will stop the rides breaking down completely. Great feature, especially if you're playing in sandbox and you don't want to have to worry about the mechanics. Uh, you can just name any ride Frontier. You'll hear a little ding when it happens uh, and then the breakdown will never happen in the game uh, for that playthrough. I think you have to resave it. Uh, or you can go the opposite way and call one of your mechanics Steve Wilkins and by doing this you're going to increase the probability of any rides breaking down in the future. And it's going to keep your little guys very busy. Tejid Cam is back. It was removed before it's just been moved into a cheat. If you change one of your uh, punter's names to Tejid Cam, you'll go into a first person view where you are attached to the ground. It's a little bit like using T on the regular camera, uh, but it means you stay to the ground and it gives you a great person eyed view of your park. So you can really see the scale of it from down on the ground. Here's a weird one. Change one of the shops to McClinth. That's M C L I N T H E. Once you've done that, it will make every single punter in the park be sick. Why you'd want to do this, I don't know, but it's absolutely hilarious. Here's a couple that are a bit more useful. You'll see here on our work in progress boomerang coaster that at the moment it just gets over the. Uh, the loop there quite nicely and gets about two thirds of the way up the lift till there before being caught by the catch car and being taken the rest of the way. But if you rename one of your guests James Taylor, it will decrease the friction on all rides within the park. Uh, they haven't given us an actual number, but I reckon it's somewhere between sort of 20 and 40%, something like that. You'll see now that it gets around the loop a lot easier, and it gets pretty much to the top of the return there, uh, with the catch car just taking it a little bit of the way before it drops you. If that's not enough, you can rename one of your guests Andy Fletcher, and that will remove coaster friction completely on all rides in the park. This does apply for most track rides as well. Uh, you'll see this time it absolutely whizzes around the uh, the boomerang there whizzes around the loop and in this case because of how this ride works it actually becomes a death coaster and goes flying off the end uh, i didn't even realize that was going to happen so you'll see that the camera isn't even ready for it i didn't even notice until all the punters come off the ride and get stuck at the end and you can just see the uh, the, the, uh, the coaster crashing in the background there oh dear and also it does crazy things to your log flume as well look at that the kraken didn't even have a chance if you rename one of your security staff to be David Getley, uh, that will increase the security heavily in your park, uh, increase the, um, the vandalism and that actually heavily in your park. But don't worry, you can rename one of your security guards to be Locket Man with a double T, and that will make him basically Robocop, smashing everyone out of his way whilst in pursuit. <laughs> Look at him go. Here is a couple of my personal favourites. Uh, if you rename one of your guests to Andy Chappell, uh, he will be super fast, or she will be super fast on the go cars. It's very much like the old rollercoaster tycoon, uh, I think it was Michael Schumacher. You'll see he's right at the front here, goes straight into that first corner, absolutely flies away from everybody. If you have a couple of laps on your go kart track, it's very likely that it will end up lapping somebody. And my personal favourite, rename your go-kart track to be Bollard. And if you do this, you can ride the go-karts. It's something that people have been asking for as soon as they saw the go-karts, they wanted it to happen. It now can happen. Uh, so here we go, I'm going to rename the ride Bollard. Here we go. It's B-O-L-L-A-R-D. There's links in the description to all of these in further detail. And you can now jump in to the ride camera and using the, the WASD keys you can ride around the go-kart track 
It is much harder than it looks. You'll see I actually spin out about two or three times here, I think. Let's have another go. If you completely spin out, it will just sort of put you back onto the track. There we go again. Round past Shark Bay Reef. Uh, past the whirly gigs that are in work in progress. It's really good fun. I can't wait to sit down properly with this and see if I can actually, you know, treat it like a proper racing game. So there you go. Some of those are really useful. Some of them just seem like a load of fun to play with. I'll be honest with you, I think a couple of them are probably testing the water towards having a new feature. I definitely think the friction could be developed into a full feature that can be singular into each coaster. Uh, and a few of the other ones as well, uh, turning certain features on and off, probably will, uh, I would like to see implemented into the game a little bit more fully. But for now, at least, they're really good fun to play with, especially riding those go-karts. How cool is that? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe? Subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, pop it down in the comments. And if you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at Jonty Sparrow. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.